I am now in the town of Bulls, New Zealand. Seriously, not a joke. Somebody literally made this town just for me. And I'm about to go get the t-shirt, maybe the hat, and find out more. All right, I'm in the information center getting my hat and getting a shirt. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dare to bust my bubble about the town of Bulls. So hold on one sec. Well, so you look you look perfect. <laughs> what what's your name by the way? McCade. McCade. Yes. Um, so uh, I've told everyone that the town of Bulls was made specially for me, but <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> uh, but why? Uh, who made Bulls and why actually? Well, there's a story up there on that plaque. It's basically. On the plaque? Okay. Basically, a man called James Bulls okay. opened a store, and then everyone was like, "Let's go to Bulls." So I turned into Bulls. Ah, so it's just that his last name was Bulls, Pretty and then much. and who came up with all of the clever puns, the indispensable, constable, all that stuff? It was the trust. The trust. The trust of Bulls. Yeah. Bulls trust. Bulls trust. <laughs> yeah. And they all got together and thought up silly names like um, the police are constable. Yep. And the sillier they got, the more popular it got. Yep. Yeah, well, I uh, used to, I have a business called Bull Buster Business Coaching. And I made pins for a trade show that said, you know, you're adorable, like insatiable, like all the incredible. <laughs> so when I saw the puns, I just felt at home. Um, so how long has Bulls existed? I think it was 1884. 1880 uh, or 1857? 1858? Yeah, oh, 18... they adopted the name Bulls in 1884, but it was Clifton originally. Okay, mm. cool. Well, um, thank you for having Bulls because it's just, uh, it's really fun. Is there like a map of all the bull stuff in town or a scavenger bull hunt? <laughs> With a giant box in them. Perfect. With a guide to Bulls. All right, thank you. Well, thank you for the information. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> There's only about two places to stay in Bulls, and this is one of them where I am staying. I'm now properly attired for my visit in Bulls, and this is the Fire Station Bull, otherwise known as Extinguishable. I was sad that I was the only one to get off the bus to go visit this town rather than just stop through. It's so cute. Look at this. There are murals everywhere. Registered business in Bulls has a registered name like this. So the learning center is lovable. And I love people with a great sense of humor. So I'm going around town to find lots of these registered bull names. Here's the town deli. And if you want coffee to go, it's coffee on the move. Need some fruits or veggies? Come to the general store. town pub like the town pub the only one called the rat hole not sure how that fits into the theme here but there is a bowl another taste of the great sense of humor here the toilet it's relievable parking parkable the main guidance signs in town right by bulls bakery and cafe the old information center, which was here in March and moved across the street into that building. I am definitely getting some laughs from people who can't believe that I actually bought the t-shirt and the hat. And yet, do you like eating at Subway? Because here in Bulls, it's submergible. The town police is the constable. <laughs> and another great mural over here. Hopefully I don't get arrested for looking like too much of a tourist. If you want to go to McDonald's and use the drive-thru, well, in Bulls, it's 
drive throughable. The Mobile Mart is mobile. Holiday time at the Central House Movers. I'm guessing they're movable. Oh look, there's a baby bull. I think he's trying to get into this chair. Random Bull by Wild Bean Cafe. So let's call him Cafe Bull. Here they are, the famous bull toilets. And Lafar or Mint Cafe is impeccable. This ATM is bankable. The tire store is inflatable. If you come here to pray, he would be redeemable. I like this one. If you come here to the Friendship Club, you're befriendable. The RSA, Return and Services Association. I don't know what that is, but it is in this town, respectable. This is the town pharmacy, and it is indispensable. And what would a town be without a notice board? Here, it's a noticeable. <laughs> There's a giant bull over by the Bulls Medical Center, which is where you're curable. And by the way, it's nice to know that when you come here, they treat humans too. If you happen to need a chiropractic adjustment, well, then that would be adjustable. Ha uh ha! -huh. Need some craft and quilts? Or maybe you want to get married? Well, then you'd be headed to fashionable. And note, bulls is a town like no utter. <laughs> That's from the real estate company. Here's the Bulls Museum, and it is very memorable. that the rat hole where you can eat lunch and dinner is remarkable. The town hall is sociable. And another bowl right by the imported French antique shop, a very good place to stand. Mother Goose is Delectable. Plunkett is non-returnable. And the town dairy. The dairy bowl. Which is available. This is the bowl's prison. Guess what it is? Come on, can you guess? Here we go. Inescapable, of course. Ah, another nice mural or a mural, I don't know. Looks like we have ourselves a double pun. The Roadrunner is both manufacturable and cuttable. This company moves houses, so they are. Well, transportable, of course. Seems like an appropriate quarry name for me in the town of Bulls. So, what do you think of the town? Do you have anything to say? Yeah, the cows here are sort of untalkable.
case anyone ever asks you, heard of bulls? Now you have. That concludes my video on bulls. A great town if you have a sense of humor. If you don't, I wouldn't stop here. But it has so many puns. In fact, uh, the tourist office gave me a list of all of them. There's like 200 of them. So someone is super creative. I think they really did make this town just for me. So thank you, New Zealand. I really appreciate this town and I would definitely recommend a stopover. However, the bus only makes like a five minute pit stop. So if you do want to check it out, you either, if you're traveling by bus, need to spend the night or you'll need to drive with your own vehicle. As always, while you're waiting for the next video, feel free to check out my website at www.heatherbegins.com for fun travel quizzes and travel information, and I will see you on the next video.